So this video is for lesson four, equivalent ratios, and it's the exit ticket example. So this is not the actual exit ticket. Again, this is an example. I have taken the numbers that it has, okay, and I have replaced them with different numbers altogether. And I've left the ratio the same. So the late, or the, excuse me, the ratio that Lonnie is purporting. So let's read the exit ticket together. There are 40 boys in the sixth grade. The number of girls in the sixth grade is 58. Lonnie says that means the ratio of the number of boys in the sixth grade to the number of girls in the sixth grade is five to seven. So we have to find out, is Lonnie correct? And then we have to show why or why not. So we have some values here. We have some quantities. We have some numbers that we can begin to order in the order that they want. And it looks like they are saying boys in the sixth grade or number of boys in the sixth grade to, and let's go ahead and make sure we remember that this is a colon, two means colon, to the number of girls in the sixth grade. So that's our two different descriptions. And then our numbers correspond. So we have 40 boys and we have 58 girls. Okay, so 40 boys and 58 girls. So let's go ahead and take a look. 40 boys, 58 girls. And uh, Lonnie is saying that that is equal to five to seven, or sh what she's basically saying is that 40 uh, to 58 is equal to five to seven. And we have to decide, is Lonnie correct? And then we need to show why or why she's not correct. And we can do that um, using pictures, drawings, numbers. I'm going to show you using an equivalent ratio table um, because I believe that that is the easiest. Now, you can also use a tape diagram to do this, and I, we may have enough time to show that. We may not. I'm going to make a little box here, and then we're going to take the box, and we're just going to make it into a T. And we're going to say, okay, well, we know that... Um, this ratio is boys to girls in the sixth grade. So we can go on ahead and label our uh, T-chart with the description, boys, oops, boys to girls, not boys to boys, boys to girls. And then we can go ahead and enter in the values that we know are correct. 40 boys to 58 girls. Now, Lonnie says that this is the same as saying five girls, for every five girls, there are seven, or for every, excuse me, for every five boys, there are seven girls. Now, we need to take a look to see if that is correct, if she um, found the equivalent ratios correctly. And we can just kind of check her math there in a couple of different ways. And I will show you the uh, tape diagram after we're done here. So in order to get from 40 to 5, or if we see this, we see that it is 40 over uh, 5. You can actually see that uh, 40 over 5 is equal to uh, 40 divided by 5, which is equal to how many times does 5 go into 40? 5 goes into 40 eight times, which means that we had to multiply 5 by 8 to get 40. So let's see what that means for 58 over 7. Okay, let's see if 58 over 7 is equal to 8 because that would mean that we could multiply 7 by 8 and get 58. 
Do you know what seven times eight is off the top of your head? I know this one off the top of my head because I remember this little easy trick where it goes five, six, seven, eight. So you go seven times eight is 56. So it's actually two less. And I remember that because you go five, six, seven, eight. Or uh, let me use my pointer here. You actually go five, six, seven, eight. So seven, eight. 56 is seven times eight. And so we realize that it actually is not going to equal 58. This is going to equal 56. But that's not how many girls we have. We indeed have 58. And so we have to divide Fifty-eight by seven which is equal to saying how many times does seven go into fifty-eight? So if seven goes into fifty-six eight times, we know it can't go over that. So we're gonna go eight, we know that's fifty-six. Eight minus six is two. This is zero. Seven cannot go into two, so we put the decimal place in, we drop it down, we say 20. Well, three uh, times seven is 21, so it can't be three. Put our decimal here, it has to be two, which is going to be 14. And we're gonna subtract that, and we get six. Seven can't go into six, so we gotta put another zero and drop it down. Zero, seven goes into 60. How many? We can stop right here because already this is going to be a really long number that we're probably going to want to do on a calculator um, and we don't really need to do because what we've done is we've already proven um, that Lonnie is, is actually not correct. So is Lonnie correct um, for this particular set of numbers? No. Lonnie is not correct. And we can say this, we can say um, because, and you don't really need to put a period or start, and start a new sentence. I did, I don't know why. Uh, because five times eight equals 40, but seven times eight equals 56 not 58, okay? And that's really what we are showing here, okay? And then let's go and look at that in, if we needed to do a tape diagram to see that equivalent ratios, I wanna show you what that would look like. Now, I don't much like using the tape diagrams. For me, it just doesn't work that well. I don't like it, um, it's cumbersome. It's hard to match up and see that they're equal pictures, but I'm gonna show you anyway because you will be tested on uh, whether or not you understand tape diagrams. They're not gonna require that you use them on the SBAC or any of our IAB tests, but they will, they will want you to know um, how they work, okay? And so let's take a look at how they work using this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw first um, a five, compartment tape. So I'll do four lines, one, two, three, four, to give uh, five little compartments here. And that will be our boys, because this is what Lonnie's saying. We're kind of, we're working backwards um, from what Lonnie has set up here, all right? And we've already proven that Ro Lonnie is incorrect, because Lonnie's close, but Seven times eight is not 58. Seven times eight is actually 56, right? And we learned that down here, that little five, six, seven, eight trick. Um, and so we're just gonna work backwards and compare to see if these are, if this ratio is, is equal to this ratio, even though we know that it's not. And so we need to now add um, another tape diagram that will be for the girls, and we're gonna have it a little bit longer because this one equals seven instead of five, and you can see how mine are really sloppy and not very equal, but we do have seven, okay?
okay? And I will go ahead and label this. This is the girls. Now, this, each of these is equal to one total, right? The boys is equal to 40, and then the girls is equal to 58. So we want to see how we can evenly, or if we can evenly, distribute 40 through 5, through these 5 squares. And we see that we can distribute 40 through these 5 squares because we know that there's a relationship between 40 and 5, okay? 40 is divisible by 5 equally, and you end up with 8, and we saw that over there, okay? And if you know your 5s and your 8s for times tables, which you should by now, you'll know that 5 times 8 is 40, and so we can plug in 8 into each of these squares, and then we can check it by skip counting. So we can say, okay, um, you have 8, 16, tw uh, 24, 32, and then finally 40, okay? And so that equals 40. And so this is like, uh, we can do like a little green check mark, like check, this one works. So um, one, two, three, four, five sections, one, two, three, four, five sections works so far. But now let's take a look at the girls, okay? And so now we have to see, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, with those 7, can 58 be divided by 7? And we looked, and, well, yes, it can be divided by 7, but not equally. We can't get, um, we can't really get a nice whole number to go into each one of these squares. We'd end up with, like, this really, really long number, and I actually stopped uh, at 8 point. Two, but it's much longer, and if we were to do this on a calculator, you can actually see um, 58 divided by 7 equals this really long 8.28571429. I don't even know what place value that's ending in because that is over the a thousandths place, and so since it's over the the thousandths place, we're not going to deal with it. And we know that this is actually, got, it has to be incorrect um, because up here it doesn't match. We should have, it should be an equal ratio. Should So there should be 8 in here, but there's not 8 in here. Instead, we have this really, really large number that goes in each one of these squares, and it's 8.28571. One, four, two, nine, okay? And we'd have to put that in each one of these squares. So I'm just going to put the little quotation marks, which means ditto, meaning that they all should be in there, okay? Now, all you got to do is look at eight, okay? And this gargantuan number, eight point two eight five seven one four. And I bet you this goes on. It just stopped because that's all the Apple phone is going to do. It's only going to bring it to whatever this ridiculous place number is. But we can see this very clearly that that is not equal. Okay, so it's not equal. This 8 does not work in here. 58, you cannot easily divide 58 by 7 and get uh, whole numbers even numbers for each of these squares. And so you know that Lonnie is incorrect because what she's saying does not actually fit into the tape diagrams, okay? The numbers end up being different. As you can see, eight is quite different than 8.28571429.